Good day everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Please try this. A channel motivated to share knowledge, a channel that loves you. My name is Pindeni and I'm pleased to join you on this video as we are going to be talking about an indie game modeling technique that I did not want to talk about on this video. And the reason being that it's not that I'm stingy with information, but rather it is because it's an unusual model. So uh, let's get on with it so that you see the model for yourself. Although it is unusual, it is also useful, mind you, it is also useful. So if you want to use this modeling technique, well, go ahead, feel free, please try this. Before I begin, I urge you and humbly ask you to subscribe. If you are new, like and share my videos. Let's get on with it. As you can see on my screen, it says it's an unusual indie game modeling technique. So let us see, let us see. Uh, this. Uh, what is this uh, modeling technique called? What is its name? Well, it doesn't have an official name, but we will call it model as per need. And I'm sure from its name you can see what it does, what this technique is all about. Model as per need. As the name it says, when you need a particular game asset, gather it or model it when you need it at that stage you need it and also uh it makes use of the game future set which means you'll be seeing that uh which future are you developing and then you model assets for that future that's how this model works model as per need it's a it's an interesting technique uh so to those who don't know what a future set is uh remember from my video number three whoo it has been a journey now uh, from my video number three, I talked about the game loop and the features and now a feature set is now a collection of the key game characteristics And also some may call it the major elements of a game So it's a collection of these major elements that define our game. So that's a feature set So this model as per need technique now is useful in game development because it keeps the developers motivated this is a key issue that this model seeks to address motivation i uh, remember my project here is a solo game development project i need a lot of motivation to finish it the reason why most uh, solo game development projects fail is because of motivation so this model has been need seeks to address motivational issues uh, that is one key area it seeks to address, so it's very useful. And uh, by that, it makes the game development team focus on making a game, not modeling. Uh, let me explain a little here. In game development, if I'm doing my solo game development, uh, I don't know uh, if you are like me, I hate modeling. I hate modeling. And also, I hate gathering assets from somewhere. I want to do things for my own. So, um, I get motivated each time I see my game come out alive. I get motivated each time I see another stage of my game coming out alive. So, what I do is I want to focus on making a game so that I keep my motivation going on and on. I don't want to focus on modeling game assets. Like, you know, I can write here on a book that I want to model the heroes, I want to model the trees, I want to model the caves, I want to model water, I want to model... By the time I finish that collection, my motivation will be just low and I'm just like, ah, now I need to start making the game and uh, some of the game assets, I won't even use them because sometimes when you reach a stage, you just know, I don't need this asset and then you are just like, ah, I wasted time. So... This model as per need technique seeks to make us focus on making a game and not on modeling because we are modeling assets as per need when they are needed. That's uh, the purpose of this technique. Developers model or gather assets when they need them uh, at the time they need them. So that's what that statement is just saying. At the time you need them, when you are on the stage, you are about to cross the river, you say, oh, but I need a tree here. You model the tree. That's how the model works. 
Uh, and also, we will not waste time making or gathering our game assets, uh, which we do not need. I think I explained it in uh, point number two. We won't waste time modeling. So, every model has a use. That is, we reduce junk. Because every model has a purpose and a use. When I was modeling this model, I knew what it was going to save me with. I knew the purpose it was meant for. Thus, we don't model, we don't waste time modeling uh, assets that we do not need. That's the purpose of this model as per need. Alright, so this is an example of me applying the technique on our Blender and Amory 3D Bullet Hell game project. Because as you are going to see from this video, I'm going to be modeling things which I need. And this is how I went about it as I decided to show you how I went about it. So I looked at my feature set and I said, okay, the main key feature set for my game is I need to shoot aggressive viruses. What do I need now uh, so that uh, this feature comes out alive? And then I look at what I need to model and I see that I need the guns, which will be the ones shooting. And these guns, what would they be shooting? Bullets. So I need to model the bullets. And also, uh, who is going to shoot? It's the heroes. So I need the heroes. As you can see there, I need the heroes. Uh, I'm on point number one here of this table. And who is going to be shot at? It's the viruses. And then you see now that I need to model the viruses. And this feature is now complete. And then I go on the next point. I need a storytelling intro. A key, key, key uh, feature in my game Bullet your games need a story so that the player knows why are they fighting. So at the beginning of my game, after we do our game intro and what, 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 I need to now to give the player a background information of what's going on. And for this story to come out alive, I need the heroes. Uh, probably they are going to be mocked by the viruses like, oh, you pathetic fools. How dare you think you can destroy me? Something like that at the beginning of our game. And then... I need the viruses, yes, so that the player can see the viruses which are being unleashed by the sea monster. And who is going to unleash the viruses? Yes, it's the sea monster. So I need to model the sea monster. And my storytelling intro is now complete. And then we go on the gun upgrading. For gun upgrading to become feasible, what do I need to model? Well, I need guns, which are several guns that need to be upgraded. And also, I need to upgrade the bullets. So, I need the bullets. And this feature is now complete. And then we go on the other feature. Another example. Maneuvering patterned bullets. So, the player needs to maneuver patterned bullets. For that to happen, what do I need? I need enemy bullets. Which the player is going to be maneuvering from. And I need the viruses. Who are the shooters of those enemy bullets. And I need barricades. Barricades so that the player doesn't run away out of our screen you know something like that happens uh the player can move out of the screen so we need barricades to keep the player in the screen so that they don't run away and i need the heroes who are going to be maneuvering away from the viruses who are going to be running away from the viruses who are going to be evading the vi enemy bullets so that's how i used i used this technique Thus, I now know that I'm going to model the guns. If I'm now working on shooting, I now need the guns, I now need the bullets, I now need the heroes, I now need the viruses. Modeling as per need. We need that thing, let's model it. If it is gathering a game asset, we need that asset, let's gather it. That's the importance uh, of this. Some may go on websites and buy assets, buy assets, buy assets, and they buy and they store them in their computer. And then realize later on that they don't even need those assets. You know, for a solo game development project, I'm sure it may be now like, oh, why, why wasted my time? I should have just worked on my game. So that's what I'm going to be doing in the coming videos. I'm going to be modeling things I need. And for now, uh, I've seen that the things which I need are as follows. I need uh, the heroes. I need the viruses. I need the virus bullets. I need the guns. I need the gun bullets. I need the sea monster. I need the barricades. And I'm sure the list is complete for now. 
Thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you. I hope you understood the model as penny technique. We are just modeling assets when they, we need them, when we need them. So I'm not going to model all the assets in one time. I model assets to satisfy a, a particular feature set and then set them aside. That's what I'm going to be doing. And for the coming feature set, which I'm going to be working on, is the intro. I'm going to start with the intro so that I tell the player the story of what is going on. So I'm going to be modeling the sea monster. I'm going to be modeling the viruses. Let, we'll start with the heroes and then we'll model the viruses and then we'll model the guns and the bullets and then we'll model the sea monster and we are ready to satisfy our intro feature set. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, remember to subscribe, like and share my videos. Thank you very much.